G'day everyone, my name is David Meyer and welcome back to First Time Reefer TV and today my friends we are at a very very special place we are at Mr. Cam Lamont's house this is Seven his guys. room this is the frag system now the famous reef room the famous reef room now I mean there's a list there's a, uh, a, a list of people who have been on this wall so uh, just in the back there I'll show you guys later but this is probably one of the most insane frag systems uh, that that I have ever seen. We're good, um, obviously, can we just? What's the total uh, length? Uh, each tank, total length, total this length. We're three point three meters. Three point three meters Five of frag space. Three. Now you can see behind us there. That's his SPS system. Uh, so that's you, was running styles, but now it's running. We're so running six styles. Now styles we're running um, four, four styles and a 400 watt metal halide. And we've got them angled in just a little bit for the getting recovery. really good coverage. I'll just duck out of the shot there yeah. quickly. Metal halides obviously off at the moment. So, um, but that that when the light is on, metal halide is like actually pretty special. We have a sunroof. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. And then we go over to this side, just behind me. I'll take my hat off so you guys can see. Uh, we've got the LPS system, so SPS system, LPS system, and that's run on blazers. My fucking battery is about to run out, so I'm going to have to do the rest of this on my phone, guys. Sorry about that. But we'll keep talking until the battery dies. Uh, so that's LPS system run on three blazers. Yeah, three blazers, three blaze nineties, and they are still now. You can see how high they're set above the tank, like at least ninety centimeters, and only still on thirty to forty percent power. Like they, they really do throw out, throw out some uh, power. And the LPS tank is absolutely cranky. Like, yeah. Unfortunately, I've um. Yeah, I've just, pissed, off I've, just, I've just I pissed it off a little bit before Dave got here trying yeah. to clean the lids. Yeah, I don't and, know why you bother cleaning shit before I get here. Dropped, yeah, dropped an excessive amount of salt into the water <laughs> and, um, and, and pissed everything off just in time. Yeah. So your systems, I mean, you've changed a lot because you you've it has. It, with look, your systems. Look, it's been a bit of a battle and just trying to figure out what's right. Um, not necessarily what's right and what's wrong, but what's going to work for me in my environment. Um, the, 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 the styles, the, they were brilliant. The, the styles will grow coral, but um, look, I'm really just trying to push to that next level, trying to introduce the metal halide and, and just see if I can sit with the big boys, really. And um, and the look, the, the LPS system, it's flawless, other than when I piss it off and, and throw handfuls of salt in there. Yeah. Um, I mean, your, your Zoe's are actually, Dude, the, Zoe the, the, actually the, the Zoe's just, I, I can't do anything wrong by them. Yeah. They, they just go crazy. The only thing, I just can't keep up with fragging them, honestly. Yeah. Guys, hit me up, please. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys want any Zoe frags, I've got some video running over. Uh, just rattle off a couple that you've got. You've got I know you've got uh, KO Nightmare, oh, Out of Chaos. Yeah, look, no. So we're going to start introducing some Twizzlers. Uh, we've got the Twizzlers there. We've got Bowser's ready. Uh, yeah, we've got Valentine's Day Massacres ready. Um, we've got some gold malls. Yeah, we've got some nice stuff. So yeah, you got an Adonis too, don't you? Yeah, yeah. There's no, there's a few Adonis and a couple ready as well. So okay. yeah, yeah. So if anyone's after some high end frames, yeah, why is there? Why is there? Because it's advertised doesn't mean it's not there. <laughs> <laughs> so what did what did you? I mean, like this is like a behemoth of a system, right? Like yeah, it's been this a is probably on, on on level for it's been about like most stores. With yeah, that, right. So. Uh, obviously, your sub setups now are quite basic. They are quite basic, and I've learned that um, they're simple. Keep it, keep it simple. Is um, for me that that's worked in this system. At the moment, I'm battling nitrate. Um, Keeping it up, right? It's battling nutrients. Sorry, yeah. it is trying to get nutrient in my systems. I've kept my systems that simple. It, it is just ran. Each system's ran on about 15 liter bucket of um, nanospheres and about eight tiles. Of, um, of those mass, mass spec um, tiles. It's crazy that media is so advanced that now to control nutrient, you have We're to actually take everything it out. out. It's, it's, ridiculous. it's ridiculous. I remember when I first started reefing, everyone was telling me that you, you, can, you cannot you have, have a reef w yeah. without a deep sand bed. It's impossible. Yeah. And now everyone's just siphoning their sand out. You cannot yeah. have a reef with you just sand. just siphoned three quarters <laughs> of the sand out of the Yeah, oh, I can't wait to get rid of the rest of it. Yeah. And uh, get another three joys in there. Yeah. Obviously, it's been a huge adjustment for the SPS. Oh, it's, uh, with it's, the introduction it's of taken a shock. Metal I've, I've, I've lost some serious frags, yeah. <laughs> but um, taking it on the chin, I'm, I'm more eager to see the um, see the system booming than yeah. the coral at the moment. Well, that's just the learning curve, though. That right? is, man. Get it all dialed in. Yeah. Um, 
And I think what you said that was really important was is just working out what works for you specifically. Definitely. Everyone has a different routine. Everyone's going to be in a different environment. Yeah. Everyone's working with different volumes. I mean, we're in like a 40 degree day today and I'm sweating balls. Yeah, you can see without a doubt. Sweating too. Yeah, it's not nice. It's uh, not nice in but here. But the tanks are nice and cool because they've got a chiller. But that, that's exactly right. So <laughs> the tanks are at the right temperature. We're just trying to work out the uh, ambient temperature. But that's just another thing. It comes into dialing in your room and um, knowing whether you're going to rely on ambient temperature or chillers. And yeah. So well, I've still got battery. Let's quickly rattle off. What skimmers are you using? Uh, skimmers, Aqua XL, ZPS twos on both tanks, absolute beast. Crazy return pumps. Return pumps, Jabeo, hate me. Yeah, I love them. Fifteen k Jabeos. Yeah, I've cleaned mine once in. Sorry guys, I've, I've, I've cleaned it once in in one year. Wave makers. Uh, Jabeos, hate me. CP forties. CP forties. Yeah. Uh, Lights is Illa Magic Blaze, Illa Magic Style, and only Illa Magic. Yeah. Choose where your budget, guys. That is a big tip. Choose yeah. where your budget. Media. Uh, media. So that was uh, there was a bit of controversy when I set up this tank with the um, Marine Pure was leaching off. Was it aluminium? Yeah, I think it was at the time. So supposedly, I, yeah, supposedly. So I decided to set up one system um, using that and the other system using nanospheres. Um, it's now been 12 months. It probably took eight months to see results. Um, but look, without a doubt, the system with the nanospheres, I am struggling so much harder to keep nutrient in. Actually dosing nutrient. Like I am crazily dosing nutrient in the system. Yeah. I'm throwing handfuls. Of, I, I, I let my three-year-old feed my fish now. Like he literally threw handfuls of food. <laughs> I was just here. Um, but yeah, look, so the, the nanospheres seem to win that battle. But as for uh, leaching aluminium, I'm not sure about that. I'll, I'll get a try and I'll get back to yours. Yeah. But um, what else is there? Heaters is obviously just standard heaters. Uh, chillers, I can see a Tico. Yeah, ran a Tico. Oh, so right, so that was earlier on the other yeah, one. Yeah, that was another trial and error. I decided to go a temp controller on one side, um, run three um, Eheim Jaegers and the and the Halia 600 um, versus the Tico on the SBS system, just to see versus stability, um, which one would perform the best. Yeah, I would say definitely the Tico. The Tico yeah. is going to win that battle just for the fact of my temperature controller that I chose. The ink bird, they're going to fade over time. Yeah. Um, I found like after six months, I was just having to calibrate it a couple of degrees. Um, but yeah, Tico. Tico. Okay. Enough said. So like massive system, pretty like no frills approach. Like you haven't gone like no, ridiculously look, expensive equipment. No, not uh, at all. Running. And I, th I think that just proves that you can still get the same results. That's, that's exactly right. Yeah. Um, look, some of the best people in, in, in Australia, I just sit back and laugh. You, you look at their systems and, and how they do it, and they're literally not even running media. Yeah, <laughs> they're, 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 they're just running keto and, and, and the right lights. Yeah. Um, and uh, food, you're it. feeding your fish? What brand of food? Uh, Vitalis, always Vitalis. Yeah. Vitalis. And uh, dosing? Um, dosing uh, coral essentials, only coral, coral essentials. essentials. Yeah, and black, black label, label plus the trace, of course. ABC, trace, ABC, uh, boron, boromite, potassium, coral essentials, pretty much whole range. Yeah, yeah. And if you had to give one bit of advice to someone wanting to start out a crazy nut job fish room like yours, what if, would it be? All right, if you're going to plan out a fish room and not just a build and not just a tank, would be to to plan your room, build your room. Build your room, insulate your room, plan for your worst case scenario in, in, in winter, plan for your worst case scenario in summer. Yeah. Just remember that chillers are going to create heat. Uh, with every action, there is a reaction. Yeah. Um, and that's what we're, we're sitting out here battling now. The tanks are at a nice temp, but we're sitting yeah. out here sweating away. So the chiller should be ducted. <laughs> yeah, the chiller should be ducted. But, well, at least your metal headline's ducted yeah, as well. Yeah. So imagine the heat coming off oh, that if you didn't have that ducted. No, I couldn't, couldn't even imagine it. Yeah, but um, no, look, we're slowly getting there. Unfortunately, all the corals are a little bit sad at the moment. Yeah. The, uh, the next video. I mean, I, I think I think happier. a couple of people might have sent a post on Mafa. I think you you probably threw out like a a, a twenty liter bucket of of SPS. Oh right? man, it was crazy. You hit a pretty big speed it, hump. It, it, it was crazy. Like literally, um, you've probably got it in frame that. It, so just in here, there's a green encrusting monty. That yeah. was literally the only thing that survived. A whole 1200 litre crash. Um, yeah. It's pretty, pretty devastating, but look, there's, there's worse things that happen in life. Yeah, well, you had a pretty big speed hump happen in life. Yeah, so. yeah but look, it's um, it, it's all on the men now, and, and it's all just lessons we learn from. Redundancy, yeah. that'd be another tip, you know, just always have something in place. Um, I just, I, I let this ride out. I, I've done a couple of things to try and save it. Um, do you know, it's actually really funny. One thing I'll touch on is um, I was chatting with Big Yules the other day. 
and um, the guru himself, and he, he said that it's never when your tank has a problem that it that shit goes downhill, it's when you try and fix it. Yeah. And um, hands down, every, yeah, well, yeah. every single time I've tried to fix a problem, that, that's when it goes downhill. Just the other day, um, I had just a, a user error, um, but I had a massive spike in my KH, and um, it was actually on the night that I was talking to Biggles about this, I had a massive spike in my KH, I hit like, I went from like seven, seven and a half, up to ten and a half, um, and instead of doing anything, I just turned my calcium reactor off and I let it ride down. Yeah. Everything's been sweet. Yeah, Biggles, cheers, dude. Yeah, well, I think one thing you said that was really good about your LPS tank is you just, you just actually left it alone. I've left it. I've left it. I've been just um, constantly monitoring. Stop trying to play God. Yeah, right. Exactly right. Yeah. I've just been constantly monitoring and testing my SVS system, just being so scared with the addition of the middle halide. Um, and all I've done in the meantime is notice how nice my LPS system is because I haven't been fussing over it. Yeah. And it really is just one of those things. Just leave it alone. Yeah. Set it up right. Leave it alone. Keep your hands out of it. And Unless you're uh, fragging corals I mean, for me. I mean, you've told me some pretty hectic stories. Like you, you had to do oh. a massive water change, and unfortunately, you, you might have accidentally siphoned out yeah. one of your coastal well, sunfish. I, I was a little bit un, I, was, I was a little bit unsure at the time. <laughs> Don't laugh, you bastard. Yeah. These things happen, <laughs> right? Like, um, but no, look, she, it's lo a bloody she nice lost clown as she, well. She lost her mate. Yeah. Um, Matt and Jade are going to look after me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, look, I'm going to patiently wait and get her another mate. And look, that's exactly that. I, um, I had a bit of a phosphate spike again, user error. Yeah. Um, doing too much shit late at night. Um, and I'd gone for a big water change and, and siphoned him out by accident straight down the drain and, and well, was, yeah. was unaware it had happened until the next day. I, I should have laughed because it's not funny. It's not funny at all. It's not funny at all. But, but um, I, mean, but, you, you, I mean, you said you weren't a fish guy. I'm not a fish guy. You're starting guy, to get a lot of fish. Right? Hand, hands down, they were my favorite fish. Yeah. And, um, no, nah, they'll, they'll be replaced. That was something special for me. They'll be replaced. Yeah. Um, well, hopefully the tank, the SPS tank especially, recovers. It's bouncing back. All, the, like all the stuff that it's been through. As so. you can see now, the coral's not too happy, um, but the tank is. The, the tank is happy. But it's just getting the environment right. Yeah, that's exactly right. right. Things can happen pretty quick with SPS, as we all know. Yeah. Um, sometimes you'll think it'll be going one way, and, and yeah, no. Nah, turns out rainbow's not so good always. <laughs> Anyway, well, thank, thanks for having me over. Um, Anytime, if, mate. If you guys are after any Zoa frags or any other frags at all, Feel make free, sure guys. you hit up uh, Cam Lamont, hit him up on Facebook, annoy him late at night because he's always up. More than welcome. Um, and if anyone wants to trade SPS with him, I'm sure he'd I need be to happy stock it with up. open I arms. To, so. I need to stock it up. <laughs> cheers, guys. Anyway, cheers, cheers guys. Thanks for watching this episode. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to punch that like button, my friends. Until next time. Peace! Peace.